I was fortunate enough to tour America with the National Youth Orchestra when I was 18, the summer before I began studying at NEC. Uh, we performed all the way from Carnegie Hall to Walt Disney Hall in LA, and I could not have imagined a more welcoming community, excited group of young and talented classical musicians, and the amount of professionalism from all involved in this incredible opportunity. After I returned home from one month of NYO, I realized that as wonderful as the orchestral life was, I wanted to do more with my musical career than play in an orchestra. It was NYO that gave me the courage to dive into Irish music, a style that now beautifully dominates my professional and musical life. In my junior year of NEC, I was invited to a jam session with another fiddler, a saxophonist, a cellist, an accordion player, and a percussionist. Collectively, we were from every department at NEC, and we arranged to meet up in a practice room to play some tunes. We began a tune from Sweden and ended up staying with it for almost 15 minutes, playing it over and over again. We were improvising, trading roles, learning and bouncing off one another, and creating the first musical notes together that would turn into a three-year streak of performances all over the U.S. and eventually into headlining the biggest folk festival in Sweden, the Choro Music Festival. We sat in silence for a long time, and then one of us voiced that we should send in a recording to audition for the NEC Wild Card Honors Ensemble. Upon winning, we were able to work with incredible mentors and tap into the many fantastic resources at NEC. I would say that the most pivotal moments in my career have been listening to and playing with other musicians of all genres. I remember the first time I heard Irish fiddler Martin Hayes live in performance. My mom drove us out to this tiny church in Virginia and the benches were overflowing with people from far and wide who had traveled to hear Martin and guitarist Dennis Cahill perform as a duo. Martin has an extraordinary voice on the violin that is so pure and so genuine, unlike anything I had ever heard before. He makes time stand still, and it was during this concert that I felt for the first time that there was a voice for me waiting to be discovered on the fiddle.